Don't tell me you don't remember. I didn't say like that. I never remember. said that. Jeez. <laughs> Listen, S Sanvi is a professional. Sanvi is smart <laughs> and she's tough as nails. He's cute. Ben is cute. And that's fun and that's great. But that does not stop Sanvi from solving what's going on with us. Also, Ben is, you know, he's got a family and like I'm happy and I also think like the idea that, you know, there's feelings also really stems from the fact that like we went through a shared trauma. So I wouldn't even confirm that those feelings are intimate in any way other than the fact that like this is my rock and this is like in a way like probably my closest friend at this point. You know what I mean? Whether our relationship turns into something else, like who knows? But at this point, like I don't even think like for Sanvi, she would necessarily say like, I have feelings for Ben in that way because again, she knows that this person is also, has a family and yada, yada, yada. But also we have a shared experience together. And I think Sanvi also recognizes that as well. But you are cute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think it's nice that, you know, we can show a relationship between a man and a woman that isn't necessarily romantic right off the beginning. It's a friendship and they trust each other, they rely on each other, they have a lot of the same sensibilities. And I think you're gonna see, you know, Ben and Sambi go through a tough point in their relationship in season two and hopefully they come out of it towards the end of it we'll we'll have to wait and see but you know i think it's a, a strong and super important relationship to ben and it's one that he holds dear and precious to him